Today's coverage of the 2022 winter meetings from San Diego, California on Mass and All Access is brought to you by Toyota. For legendary safety and reliability, choose Toyota and let's go places. Joined now by Bailey Freeman, who you might know better as Foolish Baseball on Twitter and on YouTube. Thanks so much for joining me, Bailey. Hey, thanks for having me. It's been quite a while since you have been on Mass and All Access. I think we had you on three years ago, four years ago. Uh, with three and a half. Three and a half, yeah, to discuss uh, Steven Strasburg at the time. You cover all things baseball in a unique way by using old school video games, by using YouTube as a platform. I remember asking you how you came up with this idea, but that was three and a half years ago. How'd you come up with this idea and, and how much work does it take to put together a single video? I think, you know, anytime, you know, you're watching a YouTube video, it's good to be able to mute the video and still know who made it. You know, there has to be some sort of like visual, you'd call it a gimmick, you could call it a shtick, you could call it a theme. As far as like landing on like a retro video game type aesthetic for the work I do, it was kind of pure accident. You know, I, it, was a, it was a way that I, I looked at myself and I said, hey, I'm not the greatest visual artist of all time, but maybe I, by you know brute force, I can learn how to do some pixel art and I can learn just you know how to make this work. And I think just the visuals and the music, it really comes together to make an interesting audiovisual experience for the viewer. And why do you think that style has really caught on and, and helped you grow your brand? Because so many people seem to gravitate to that. Maybe it's part of the, you know, the old school retro nature of baseball fandom as a whole. People love digging through the archives and video games being overlapped with sports in that way. How do you think that kind of came about? Yeah, oh, I think there's there's a good overlap too in terms of just like nerddom. Like I, <laughs> you know, I, I try to make, you know, analytics and sabermetrics fun and accessible for everyone. So if we're going to go deep into the numbers, like there probably is a good amount of overlap between like a baseball sabermetrics nerd and even like a retro video game nerd. So I think it kind of right. works in that regard as well. Gotcha. And was this something that you expected to grow into what it is, to have the Twitter account that, that grew into this? I remember originally you were doing this, these videos somewhat anonymously, yeah. then you kind of, kind of peeled back the curtain. Why did this take off and were you surprised about it? And, and what's crazy is it took off all at once. I had made two or three videos under that format and then I think the, it was the third or fourth one I made was about Justin Verlander. And I remember going in, I was uh, working at a homeless shelter over the weekends. I remember going in for the weekend. And then by the time I left, I just went to my parents. I said, I said, Mom, Dad, like I made something and 100,000 people watched it. <laughs> and then like a couple days later, Justin Verlander himself tweeted about it and just wow. like how much he enjoyed it. And so that was really, you know, there was no like gradual buildup. It just one day I was off and the next day I was on. And then. Uh, you know, from there, it didn't take long for me to, you know, transform this into a career. And now I'm here at the Winter Meetings 2022. Yeah, what's your experience been like here? This is the first Winter Meetings that you've ever been to. Of course, we haven't had one for a couple of years, but getting to see in person, talk to a lot of the people that you interact with online, yeah. How enjoyable is that, that? That's what it's all about. It's like I have all these people that I've talked to, you know, on my phone or through the computer, and now I can finally see them and meet them, <laughs> and it's it's great. I, I there's some in some regards, like I feel like there is a, it's almost like a middle school dance vibe, or like you're like you're going to camp or something like that. There's all these like kind of interesting clicks that form that you're like, oh, I didn't even know that person knows this person. Look at them. Right. But it's 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 a lot of fun. Like the just the whole like social dynamics, and I think my favorite thing is you never know who you're gonna see. You know, I just on my walk to you through the lobby, I saw CC Sabathia. And I was just like <laughs> that, and it's yeah. hard to miss him. Yeah. So uh, that's that's what I really enjoy about the the winter meetings. It's, it's almost like just the people watching alone is worth the uh, admission. Yes, you see Hall of Famers walking by, yeah. and they wouldn't get recognized in a lot of areas, but. You know, the, it, at these places, it's, they turn a lot of heads. Right. Uh, so, what is next? I wonder for uh, Foolish Baseball. Yeah, I, on any of your new videos. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I, I would love to. Um, I'd love to spoil the exact topic, but uh, I will say I'm working on like a pretty, pretty noteworthy season from this year, like staying pretty modern, and then maybe going into you know like February around there. I'd love to get into like a really obscure like dead ball era baseball player. So nice. that's what's great about Foolish Baseball. I can run the gambit. I can talk about like the modern superstar, or I can talk about someone who played 100 years ago who you probably never heard of. Right. Yeah. And and having all those stats accessible and and easy to find makes it uh, you, you I'm sure you find some old fun names definitely like, <laughs> I mean even fun ones to say out loud like Buttercup Dickerson you know it's a great one <laughs> honestly there should be a Buttercup Dickerson Jr. Yeah. playing in baseball right now Foolish Baseball aka Bailey Freeman Bailey thanks so much for joining me Appreciate hey thanks it. for having me Paul
Thanks for watching and tune in all week to our coverage of the 2022 baseball winter meetings from San Diego brought to you by Toyota for legendary safety and reliability. Choose Toyota and let's go places.